Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Brett of Anamices, reviewing more Brett Anamices beer. Yeah. Uh, this is another awesome ale farm beer. I hope it smells awesome in the room right now. And uh, we had soft fuzz, really, really awesome apricot sour. We're moving on to the other new release, which is the Ale Farm Frample, uh, a raspberry farmhouse ale. So Fram is probably something with farm and pull, and I don't know, maybe Frambois, raspberry, but actually, yeah. if you go to the mall, a lot of people say that you would go there to get Framples, so free yeah. samples. Free samples. So I don't know if that's the reference as well. <laughs> I don't get the reference. Yeah. I do get soft fuzz though, Yeah. Uh, but maybe it's just Frambois, raspberry, yeah. something. Bramble, you also call Bramble, which is a type of berry as well. I don't know. But, but it's an um, awesome label. It's an awesome like label Like the well. soft fuss. Yes. Uh, this one is also 7.2% and made with malted barley and wheat, wheat, hop, yeast and raspberries. And Bramble is also a mixed fermentation farmhouse sour. They say the other ones, they say song. So, uh, but yeah, uh, mixed fermentation saison. This is mixed fermentation farmhouse sour. That is also open fermented with their house culture and then aged on heaps of Danish fresh raspberries, which is really cool. Uh, the local last ingredients. I love yes. that. And uh, of course, they can't use local apricots because we're in Denmark. No. But the fact that they do that is really cool. It was the same with Nordic grape, like yeah. using the, the, the stale cherries, the Danish cherries. It does something really cool. extra. Yeah. It does. But we got Frample poured uh, by Ale Farm, and that looks really nice. Yeah. Nice. Like a red orangey color it looks very dark red on camera yeah um it's it's not really like red wine it's something in between of like uh rosé uh, yeah rosé <laughs> uh, and uh, a red wine it's like if you mix rosé yourself and you pour yeah. in too much red wine yeah <laughs> it's a funny in between color yes uh, and an almost pinkish head on there yeah but uh, let's check out the aroma Oh, really, <laughs> really awesome, deep raspberry yeah, character. Jammy raspberry. Like, what I love about, like, we, the last raspberry beer we had was Never Never Again Again. Yeah. And that was just so crazy. That, that was jam. That was raspberry parade. But this is like, but that was also a was Belize, vanilla. Was yeah. it a Goza? A Goza. But this, this is like the farmhouse sale, uh, like sour farmhouse sale. Yeah. So you're getting some funk, you're getting some... Um, kind of nice, like a little bit of a weedy undertones, but that one I think they just use so much, you know, just crazy yeah. over the top. This has loads of raspberries, but yeah. it has this is a really nice uh, funkiness from the house culture. This is but much wow, more like fresh and pure. I will say something right now. This is almost reminding me of Rosé de Cambrinos from Cation. Yeah. yeah. Because this actually has more funk than soft fuzz, at least to me, on the aroma. It has, it has some funk. It has but a wow. barnyardy, it's oaky... It's almost like going in the summer, like raspberries are yeah. everywhere in Denmark in the yeah. summer. And especially like we have a, a local forest, uh, Lundbykrat, for yeah, example. Lundbykrat, yeah. They're everywhere, yeah. they're growing wild. You can go and pick them in the, uh, in the autumn. Yeah. But they taste amazing. And it's, it's, it's really reminding me of that. Yeah. Like wild raspberries. Like, it reminds you of, you know, Danish summer. And yeah, or, 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 fresh, or, or, or uh, late summer. Yeah, late, late summer and... Uh, yeah, just freshness in the air. Oh. Yeah. Somewhat nostalgic. Really. Yeah. That smells really nice. I really want to try it. Let's, yeah. let's give Bramble a taste. Cheers. Cheers. That is really fucking nice. Yeah. Such a delicate raspberry flavor and lots of raspberry. Mm. But then the funk, again, it's not as dominant on the flavor as with soft fuzz. No. But it's th it's there. It's got a nice kind of that kind of farmhousey yeah. funkiness. But I really dig the raspberry flavor. It's not like that crazy over the top. Uh, it's so like balanced. It's, yeah, I like, love like, the way Ale they... Farm is so good at balancing yeah. their sours because it's not too much sourness. No. It's not too like often when you do them, it's like so much fruit that it's almost like smoothies, which is also nice. Mm. Or it's just so sour like it's crazy puckering. But the yeah. Andreas is so good at nailing the balance. And the balance of awesome fruit flavor and funkiness and sourness is just great in this one. Dry oakiness as well in there. It has the oakiness, a bit wow. of lemon, lemony vibe to it. Lo lots of lots of uh, jammy raspberry. I think some of my recent favorites from him, just from these few sips for me, is Frample and uh, Nordic Grape. Yeah. Softwoss is also really nice, but these are just, for me at least, a notch higher. 
even though I I really like soft fuzz. But yeah, I really liked it too, but for me this is just a notch higher. Yeah. It's just it's so jammy and yeah, yeah. Really lovely jammy raspberry flavor, nice oaky flavor, tart raspberry flavor. It and also what I really like it doesn't go over into that metallic flavor you can get from all the tannins from yeah. the berries. So it's like a lot of the fruit, but not the crazy. There is maybe a little bit of a tannin, but not so much. But and it's sometimes there's so much that the tannins, at least to me, seem a bit metallic. Mm. But it's not like like pennies or something. But that's not like this in this case at no. all. Um, yeah, and then the, the funk that is there is it's kind of kind of light barney yeah, yardy funk. Barney it's very it's hey. very similar to soft boss in terms of funkiness. And then it also has a bit of a, a wheaty crispness to it. And again, very nice mouthfeel. Very silky, very slick. I'm thinking 95. I prefer this over soft boss, but I yeah. still prefer Nordic Grape the most. Because I just love that cherry flavor. I'll go 95 with this one too. I like I, I actually like it as much as the soft boss, So, But what about, do you prefer Nordic Grape? I don't know. Yeah, it's also it's, been a while since yeah. I had it kind of yeah. recently, but that actually got more sour yeah. since we had it last. Yeah. But uh, yeah, guys, yeah, seek out some Ale Farm. So guys, that does it for the review of Framble by Ale Farm. Really great stuff. I urge you guys to try and seek it out. They might still have it on Kiosk. Hopefully. Yeah, and the box, box beers. beers. Yeah. So try and check the Danish web shops that ship. Yeah. Well, well, don't maybe sleep Mikala on it. Web, maybe Mikala web shops still have some. I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah, maybe. Unless well with soft so check them out. I urge you guys to do it. So. Yeah. Yeah, and if you had a chance to try the Frample, guys, let us know what you thought of it. What is your favorite of the two new releases, Soft Boss or Frample? I get it. Kiss? It kind of depends on what fruit yeah. you like as well, most. I don't know. but Maybe this guys. has the slight edge. But I think so, too, yeah. but still really good. So check them out, guys. Let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another review.